Russia, the world's preeminent nuclear power, is contemplating reducing the decision-making time for the use of its nuclear arsenal, as outlined in official policy, should perceived threats to the nation increase, according to Andrei Katapolov, the chairman of the State Duma's Defense Committee. In a recent interview with the state news agency RIA, Katapolov emphasized that if the challenges and threats facing Russia were to escalate, adjustments could be made to the timing of decisions related to the deployment of nuclear weapons. The war in Ukraine has escalated tensions between Russia and the West to levels not seen since the Cuban Missile Crisis of 1962. President Vladimir Putin recently hinted at potential changes to Russia's nuclear doctrine, which currently specifies the conditions under which nuclear weapons might be used. The use of nuclear weapons is possible and exceptional, precisely in exceptional cases, in the event of a threat to the sovereignty and territorial integrity of the country. I do not believe that such a case has arisen, and there is no such need. But this is a doctrine, this is a living instrument, and we carefully watch what is happening in the world around us, and we do not rule out making some changes to this doctrine. Russia's 2020 nuclear doctrine allows for the use of nuclear weapons in response to an attack involving nuclear or other weapons of mass destruction, or conventional weapons when the state's very existence is at risk. Kartapolov, who has previously commanded Russian forces in Syria and now represents the ruling United Russia Party, noted that while specific changes to the doctrine are not yet being discussed, the possibility remains open. Both Russia and the United States hold the majority of the world's nuclear arsenal, with Russia alone accounting for a significant share. Despite reductions in nuclear weapons following the collapse of the Soviet Union, recent developments suggest a potential arms race. Russia and the US are both modernizing their arsenals, and China is rapidly expanding its nuclear capabilities. President Putin has assured that Russia does not need to resort to nuclear weapons to achieve victory in Ukraine, indicating that the conflict will not escalate to a nuclear level. However, he acknowledged the need to keep the nuclear doctrine adaptable in light of evolving threats. This stance is seen as a response to hardliners within Russia who advocate for a swifter and more flexible nuclear response. Putin has also pointed out that adversaries are developing ultra-low yield nuclear devices which could necessitate changes to Russia's strategic policies. Meanwhile, the United States is preparing to enhance its strategic nuclear deterrent to address growing threats from both Russia and China, as well as other potential adversaries. We know that the potential enemy is working on this. New elements related to reducing the use of nuclear weapons, lowering the threshold for use. In particular, ultra-low power explosive nuclear devices are being developed. And we know that in expert circles in the West, there are ideas that such weapons could be used, and there is nothing particularly terrible about it. While Russia has expressed interest in engaging in arms control discussions with the United States, it insists that these talks should encompass broader issues of European security and the future of Ukraine. The collapse of Cold War-era arms control agreements has left diplomats wary of a renewed arms race. According to the US 2022 Nuclear Posture Review, both Russia and China are expected to continue expanding their nuclear capabilities. By the 2030S, the United States may find itself confronting two major nuclear powers as strategic competitors for the first time in its history.